Hi guys, so I had this four feet rectangular aluminum tubes and one day I decided to make a circular saw guide from them. So I first cut two pieces that will be a part of the clamping system. Each one is about four inches long. Then I made a cut using my table saw. I have to make this gap wider. So now, as you can see, it can slide in easily. Then I drilled a total of three holes. This piece got holes on both sides, and the other one got a hole only on one side. You'll see why. Now we'll attach it to the guide. Using my square to make sure it's exactly 90 degrees. Okay, now it's 90. So it's fixed. Now I flip it around and using the second piece, this is gonna be the movable piece. I'm gonna slide it closer to the first piece and I'm gonna make an eccentric clamp out of this piece of plywood. Using the scroll saw, I'm gonna cut a circle and then I'm gonna fix it on a pin and make a perfect circle. I'm gonna drill a hole for the plastic insert, but slightly off center. I'm gonna show you how it's going to work. So as you can see, because it's off-center, if we move it a little bit closer, it will be wedging that second piece. I decided to connect these two movable pieces together just for the convenience. They'll be loosely connected by that metal plate. I'm gonna make a little handle here on the eccentric mechanism. Final touches, putting the plugs in. And now you can see how this eccentric clamping mechanism works. And let's test it with the circular saw now. It's pretty secure. And let's see how straight it can cut. That is pretty straight. It is also safer to cut this way. So I can use this guide on pieces about four feet long. And I'm gonna test if it's gonna hold this long piece securely. Just gonna clamp it on and Lift it. And as you can see, the guide stays put in. Well guys, thank you for watching. Be safe and happy woodworking.